Hey guys, it's Alma. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I decided why not do another Bath & Body Works empties video. The lighting in this room is absolutely amazing and I've just been hanging out here anyways, so why not film in here? But I've used up a couple different sprays, body washes. I even used up a lotion, which you guys know I don't use too many lotions. But when you get really bad sunburns for Memorial Day, you kind of go through like the whole bottle. But anyways, guys, I wanted to hop on here to show you guys what I've been using for the past month, month and a half or so. Let me know if you guys like these videos. I figured it's nice for me to just show you guys every month to two months instead of waiting till I have a huge collection of empties. But let me know what your thoughts are. Yes, I know that I am currently sitting on my floor of the living room, but it's, it's just really nice. Like the brightness from outside is phenomenal it's the best lighting that i have in any of the rooms my cat's hanging out with me we're just living our best life so let's get started you guys um i don't have too too many things um but like i mentioned i have a wide variety of different things that i've used up the past couple of months and i really just wanted to show you guys like i'm the type of person i like to stay up with the latest products people are using i'm just very nosy so the first thing that i'm going to show you guys is of course you guys know my obsession with champagne apple and honey i used up an entire body wash of theirs this stuff it just it smells so so freaking good to me like it, it smells exactly what the name is the apple i'm not too sure because you guys know every apple has like a different um taste to it scent I'm not exactly sure what I would say this one is, but regardless, this one to me is an easy 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. I think I have a couple others that I've been going through, but if you guys find this one in the hand sanitizer, please let me know because I haven't been able to find them for like two years. So let a girl know. Next up, uh, I used a Sunrise Woods shower gel this packaging is absolutely beautiful i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see anything from how sunny it is in this room but it's just this packaging the the lighting everything is just putting me in such a good mood but this one has creamy sandalwood sweet berries and cozy cashmere this is definitely a manly scent to me it's very much so reminds me of i don't know like Probably a mix between, I would say, mahogany, teakwood, sandalwood, and maybe cashmere glow. It's such a good scent. Manly. That's all I can say about it. If you're obsessed with musky scents like I am, this is definitely the one for you. I also give this one a 10 out of 10. Next up is the one and only lotion that I've used up. It is Beautiful Day. This is the one I used um, when I got really, really bad sunburn on my entire back um, from Memorial Day weekend. I went up to Port Huron with one of my good friends. And honestly, within an hour, like you just burn really, really bad. This on there gets you. But this one is also one of my, I wouldn't say it's my current favorite, but I used to use this scent a lot more. It has sun-kissed apples, sparkling casses, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. So it's just a very like outdoorsy type scent to me, like flowery. This one, I would probably give it a good 7 out of 10. It does feel really, really good on your skin, especially if you're sunburnt. Um, definitely, give it a try. And if you guys see my cat hanging out, she's just curious as to what I'm up to and chasing flies. But you know what? It's cool. This is the one thing that I like about putting my life kind of out there on YouTube is I like for you guys to see the reality of things. And the reality of things is, is I sit down to do something and... It takes forever. It takes truly takes forever to film one video because of constant interruptions and just um, me being very ADD. So welcome, welcome to my life. Um, now let's continue with the empties. Next up, I have Happy Haunting. I think I've mentioned this to you guys in the past, but this smells exactly like Island Margarita. This is their uh, Halloween collection, so I think I just got in a newsletter that mentioned that all of their Halloween scents are already back. Yes, it's July and Halloween scents are everywhere. 
even when you go to stores, Halloween de uh, decorations are everywhere. But this one has uh, Mysterious Slime Frightening Pear and Spooky Sea Salt. It's literally a repackaging of Isla Margarita. This one, you guys know. You guys know I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10 because it deserves a 10 out of 10. Next up, another one of my absolute favorites is Blueberry Bellini. This one is like a game changer for me. I'm not the type of person that likes really, really sweet scents. I like to stick to my musky scents. And if I do have something sweet, I don't want it to be overpowering. This one to me smells exactly like a blueberry pie. Oh my God, guys. Like... I'm telling you, this smells phenomenal. Like, it, it's so good. As I was saying, before my camera decided to just rudely fall, this scent is absolutely amazing. It's a very, very sweet scent, but it doesn't smell artificial to me, and I think that's what's going to give it a 10 out of 10. This one, you guys know, it's one of my absolute summer favorites. I did just do a little quick review on it for YouTube Shorts, but it is Honolulu Sun. This one to me smells like the beach. I think that's the best way to put it. This one 100% smells like the beach. It has a fresh island, coconut, Pacific palm, and driftwood. This one also easily gets a 10 out of 10. And tell me that Bath & Body Works is not stepping up their designs because it looks so much cuter than it did in the original packaging next up i have sunwash citrus this one i also did a quick little review on for youtube shorts to me it reminds me of kind of like a nectarine tangerine just like anything really citrusy it has sugared lemons juicy pineapple and mandarin in here i want to say i'm going to give this one also a 7 out of 10. it's a very clean scent but it's nothing that sticks out to me I did also end up using one body spray. This is the Golden Clementine and Amber. And if I'm remembering correctly, I did mention to you guys that I also really, really like this scent as well. In here, it's Juicy Citrus, Sparkling, Pomegranate, and Warm Amber. This one, to me, is also very, very citrusy, fruity, but also has like that well-balanced, almost like warm vanilla type mix to it. It smells so freaking good. Like, it's definitely like a citrusy scent you could wear as a perfume because it's a mix of like sweet and not musky, but I would say like almost like vanilla-y, if that makes sense. This one, I would probably give this an 8 out of 10. I really, really like this scent. I did end up using two pocket bags. I have a couple others in my car that I'm just like slowly going through. The first one is Georgia Peach. Um, love this scent. These ones don't tell me 100% what's in them, or maybe they do if I peel them at the bottom. I don't know. Let's see. No. No, it doesn't tell me what's in here, but with Georgia Peach, as it sounds, it smells exactly like a Georgia Peach, and it smells fantastic. I easily give that one like an 8.5 out of 10. I also used a Vampire Blood. This one to me smells kind of like raspberries or like strawberries. This one is also a really, really good scent. Um, I got this one, I want to say like two, three years ago, and I just now recently went through it. This one, I probably give like a seven, seven and a half out of ten. Now to the fun part. I have a whole bunch of wallflowers that I went through. Um, I have like at least five or six wallflower pogs, and I think two of them are the double ones so I go through scents very quickly you got to get the house smelling good guys if I was probably in like an apartment or something I would definitely not be going through as many as I am but I love a, a clean home a smell good home and these are just perfect for it so the first one that I pulled out was a Wakiki Beach Coconut. I did haul this one recently, and you guys know I've been loving my coconut scents recently. I don't know what it is, but I feel like as I've gotten older, coconut is just so comforting to me, and it very much so reminds me of the beach, and anything that reminds me of the beach is like number one on my list. This one has tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, and sun bleached woods. This one, I give it easy 10 out of 10. I also tried Honeysuckle and Peach fr uh, Spritz for the very first time, which is one of their newer scents as well. This one has Honeysuckle Blooms, Juicy Peaches, and Orange Zest. 
I'm gonna be very honest this one I didn't smell it too much like it's not a strong scent whatsoever this one I would probably give it like a six and a half seven out of ten just because it does smell very very good when like I untwist the cap but like you can't really smell it throughout the house so it makes me sad because some of their scents are that way but I think they've gotten much much better over time next you guys know island margarita i go through these uh quite often and i think this was one of the last ones i had before the semi-annual sale this one has sweet mandarin island mango and sea salt now their island margarita to me i feel like they've definitely changed the keynotes a little bit especially in their wallflowers it does not smell the same as it does in the hand soap and like i just read off they added sweet mandarin and island mango now to island margarita which it literally used to be, I think, lime, sea salt, and one other thing in there. I can't remember exactly what it was. But regardless, I absolutely love this 10 out of 10. Mango Mai Tai was also another one that I used up this month. Their packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's mango nectar, jasmine flower, sunkissed grapefruit. This one also was not that strong of a scent whatsoever, but I do love Mango Mai Tai. If you get it in like the hand soap, it's much stronger of a scent than it is in the wallflower. So this one, I'll probably give it like a seven and a half, eight out of 10. Now this one, the tag broke off of it, but it is sweater weather. And I really like how sweater weather is like a bluish, a bluish tint to the liquid. And this one, let's see what's in here. It's fresh sage, juniper berry, and aromatic eucalyptus. You guys know, sweater weather. I love it. It smells like a clean man, and it's just so, so comforting to me. Nine, nine and a half out of ten, easily. I also tried pink pineapple sunrise for the very first time, which was one of their newer fragrances. This one has a sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. This one is kind of a stronger scent um i don't really remember what this one smells like so let me just take a little a little sniff mm. it literally smells like pineapples like a pineapple fruity drink i really like this actually this one i probably give it a seven and a half out of ten and the very last thing that i used was a sweater weather uh car freshener these are amazing. I don't know about you guys, but all my car fresheners last me maybe like three, four, five months, depending on how strong the scent is. I absolutely love these. They're, I wanna say under five bucks a piece, but I like to get them when they're on sale. They just, I love it. I absolutely freaking love it. My car always smells amazing. And I go through either this one, Mahogany Teakwood, Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, um, and I think sweater weather is another one that I tend to go through quite frequently with my car. But 10 out of 10, highly recommend these. Whenever you can get your hands on them, I, I definitely suggest it. So that is it, you guys. That is my empties for the month of July. I literally cannot believe we are halfway done with the year. I feel like 2022 just became a thing. So you guys, let me know what you thought about today's video in the comment section down below. I do have a couple other videos coming up that I'm going to be filming. So if you see me in this exact outfit, no, you didn't. Um, but those will be up later this week and probably into the next week. Anyways, you guys, I hope everyone has an amazing day and an even better tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Peace alone. Peace alone.